get my drying racks in place. So that'll be my first priority for this day. And planting my grass tufts and getting them fertilized and up and running. And tomorrow we'll start looking towards preparing for winter. having my ice flingomatic for this base um, right about here. So I know in my head about how big an ice flingomatic is and if you scroll in three times um, it's generally from the bottom of the screen up to about the top third of the screen. So my fire pit's just going to be out of the range although my alchemy engine is going to be within range and it's from side to side as well. So this gives me a good idea of where I can start planting my grass stuffs. And once again, find a nice sweet spot and you shouldn't have to move your mouse at all. get one in on that side, but I should have been a little bit closer with the initial planting. Absolutely perfect, but um, I'm not real big on being absolutely perfect in any aspect of the game, so the dry grass is the one to start getting down, so. I usually like to have these in a nice straight line, but for now, I'm just kind of filling in some gaps. sticks in my base, so I'm just gonna pick them instead of digging them. But I do want more grass tufts. I don't bear I don't plant berry bushes in my base originally, so don't grab that.
just pick some berries in the early game just as filler. Oh yes, rope. So, do we find ourselves out two more rope? <laughs> Once again, the prototype getting us some sanity recovery. And we can dry off those. And we should make ourselves some more meatballs. As a general rule, you want to keep your drying racks or your um, crock pots um, clear of the food because there is a bug which um, the, the, the food on the crock pots will rot and the timer is broken in Reign of Giants so that it doesn't actually reset when you harvest it. So the longer you leave food on your crock pots, um, the more chance you have that the next thing you make on your crock pot is going to come out as rock. my hammer on me, just because if I come across a touchstone, then I can uh, hammer off the pig heads that are around the touchstone, and get some more pig skin. Uh, speaking of pig skin, the one thing I have forgotten to do is to make myself a football helmet. So, one pig skin, one rope. Yeah. Just enough to prototype the football. prompt though sometimes it's not so great. Right. Not all the grass and twigs I will uh, collect for this base. Um, so at this point now, like I said, we're going to start looking towards winter. And for winter we need uh, beefalo fur. We also need... No, we don't need this. So I'm just going to drop it down there. Um, so we're going to go and find ourselves some spiders and some beefaloes. And they are beefaloes I remember since I only have one savanna, it's pretty easy to remember. I also have spiders both along the way and on the way back, which will be this guy 